This is Amy with Leap of Faith Crafting, and today um, in our Cricut Design Space 101 tutorials, I'm going to talk to you about making monograms, the split level, the split um, letter monograms. And um, so something like these two that I made here. So uh, I'm going to move these just down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So first, I'm just going to enter a text and so let's say we're going to do the letter M. So when you can choose whatever font you want, um, a lot of them are <clears throat> block, but um, I've also done script ones. So just depending on whatever you want. And I'm going to bring it in there. And then the easiest way that I have found to do it is I'm going to enter a shape and pick the square. And then I'm just going to make this into a long rectangle about the size that I want to cut. So with these you can, and it's all really up to you on where you want the split. I mean, you can do it right in the middle where it covers up the point. You can do it a little above so you have both. So I'm going to do it about right there. So and then I'm just going to use my cursor and I'm going to put a square around these so these are grouped and then down here on the right side is the slice. So I'm going to hit the slice button and what that does is that cuts it right there. So when I move it now we just have this part and all this part I'm going to delete. <clears throat> so then to add the little bars I'm again going to get a square and I'm going to unlock it. So I'm going to click the lock button here to unlock it. And again, I'm going to make a long, narrow block here. I'm going to put it about up there and just kind of gauging the size that I want it. So you can make it as big, you know, you can make it really long or not. So then I'm just going to click on that again and now I'm going to duplicate it. So up here on the right is the duplicate button. And then I'm going to move it just, I don't need to get them aligned right now. I'm going to do that in a minute, but I just want to get them overlapping. So like that. So then again, I'm going to use a square, put it around the whole thing. And then up here is the align tool. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to center them horizontally. So that moves everything right in place. So now I'm going to come down and hit the weld button. And you'll see when I do this, that th these gray will turn black because now everything is one piece and welded together. So now you can put um, you know, some kind of text inside of it. And a lot of times these have to be little, so you have to unlock this and then you can make these, you know, fatter. Kind of however you want. And again, if you want to center it, put a box around the whole thing, do an align and center horizontally. So, so there's just the basic kind of, of a letter. So if you want to do a script one, so let's see about, let's do an S and let's do Magnolia. So like this one, same kind of thing. I'm going to get a shape and unlock the square so I can make it into a rectangle. So with the script font, you have the option of going all the way through. You might just want to go part way through so you don't break that. other one you might want to put it up here so it's really all personal preference I'm gonna do mine probably there and again put them all in a box and hit the slice button and then I'm just going to delete all of these sections there's usually three sections to there and then grab another square and make it into a long skinny line. And 
and we put it there again duplicate it put this one down here now I'm gonna actually I can't center those because if I center them these are gonna move so I just want it to align actually the two um, the two thick lines here so I'm gonna click on that one I'm gonna hold my shift down and then try to get just this other rod like that and then with those two selected I'm going to go up to a line and align center so now they're aligned to each other so now I'm going to put the box around all of it and again hit my weld button and there you have one that's a script and like I said you can go all the way through the S um, it is really just all personal preference. So if you wanted to put kind of something behind it, um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. This one I found, this is a flourish. So I um, am going to pixabay.com, which I've talked about before, and I'm just gonna type in a flourish. You can also just Google a flourish and find something you like. So these ones you kind of just have to play with and it's just, again, another personal preference. You make it however you want. I just went down and kind of found one that was a little bit um, square or circular, um, seemed to work the best. So this is where I found mine. And then once you have it, Say this one, you're gonna click on it and then over here it says free download. So I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna save it as a vector graph graphic, an SVG. So I'm gonna click that and hit download. And then back in Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna hit the upload button and upload image. And I'm gonna browse and on my downloads, I'm gonna type it in and hit open. So you'll see it comes in an, as an SVG. So there's no nothing you need to do with this besides saving it. So then I'm gonna click on that to insert it. And it comes in really big. So I'm gonna come up to the size up here just so I don't have to find the little squares moved in. I'm just gonna hit four so that it goes down to four inches just so I can maneuver it and see it. And so with this, um, I'm gonna grab a, a letter. So let's do, okay, so I'm just gonna make that bigger. So then this again, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it about where I like it. If you want it fully centered, put a box around both of them and a line and center. So sometimes when you center it's, with these letters, it's not gonna go totally like in the center of this one. Um, so I might move this just a little bit so it's more in the center of these two flowers up there. So now I'm gonna box around the whole thing and now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna weld this together so that it's just one image. So down here on the right side, I'm gonna click the weld button. So now this is all one. So then I'm gonna bring in the, a rectangle again, the square, unlock it, and make that long skinny rectangle. And put it Whatever I want here. Move my cursor around both of them and hit the slice button. So that will cut all the way through everything. Then I'm just gonna put a square around this and delete it since I don't need it. Okay, moving this back over, I just need to get those lines to put on it. So hit my square again.
And that one's a little thick. I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. I'm gonna duplicate it. Move it down there. So I'm gonna see what happens when I center all of these. Okay, so I like that. So then I'm gonna come down again while it's all selected and click the weld. So then it all turns into black. And then we have a letter. You can also do them with like smaller flourishes. So say we'll go into images here and you can type in flourish up here in the in the search box. And these come up, these show my uploaded ones already here, but then you can go down and see if there's one that you might want to put on it. Um, and let's just see what happens if we insert this one. I'll make it bigger. Ungroup it. Okay, so with this, I'm gonna copy this. So duplicate it. And then I'm gonna actually flip it over so that it's mirror. So up here, there's a flip button. So you can do horizontal or vertical. I'm gonna choose the vertical. And I'm gonna move this up on this side. I actually might make these a little bit longer here. And move it to where I want it. Make this one a little longer. So something like that. Shoot. I'm gonna click on this one and shift click on this one, and then I'm gonna actually align these ones. And then I'm gonna put a square around all of it. So it's all in a square and come down and hit the weld button down here. So that's another way that you can get some flourishes behind it if you want, that is not all one big one. So I hope that makes sense. You can do it with any letters that you have. Um, like I did all of these and then you just type a name in it. So, um, so it's great to personalize, make them totally unique to, to however you want it. And, um, and have fun with it. So please let me know if you have any questions. And um, I'd love for you to subscribe if you like this video so you don't miss out on any of the other videos coming out. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.